very good morning to all my dear students hope you all are fit and fine welcome to the standard 5th subject computer as in the previous class we were talking about the different applications of the computers it means that the various fields where a computers are used so we have already talked about how the computers are used at home in schools for medical purposes films and televisions and in the banking so now we will move further to the other applications or the other fields where a computers are used so we will study about how a computer is used in offices so a computers are used in offices for the following purposes first is to make and keep the records of the office documents so here in a office any institution or any organization or any of the particular office it is required to keep the records it means to maintain the records to save it for the later use and to take a print of all the records of the important office documents so that all documents are stored in the computer so it is required to make and keep the records or maintain the records second is to maintain the employees personal and salary records a personal details of the employees it means that how many employees are working in the particular office or the organization their personal details and what is their salary it means what is their pay scale so the employee personal and the salary details are mentioned in the computer so a computer is used to keep the records of the office documents the computer is used to keep the records of the employee personal details and the salary records third is communicate important information through emails nowadays electronic mails are in use it means that the important text it is also possible to send an attachments it means a video audio or the text file you can send via the email so it is a very easy way to communicate through emails so a computer is also used to communicate about the important information through the electronic mails using a computer fourth is to type and print the office documents so it is very easy to type your document and take it in a hard copy it means once you have typed an entire document in the word or excel file now you want a print of it then the computer should be attached with the printer and you can also get it hard copies so a computer is also used to type anything and to have a print of it okay so now we will move further i have a computer is used in libraries a computers are very commonly used in libraries in the following ways first a computers are most often used to get access to the library's book database a library's computerized book database make it easier to keep the records of the book issued and written it means a computer is used to manage the person accounts it means the library book database it means which customer have taken the books which customers have issued the book which have written the book to again to the library this all the things are maintained in a computer it is very easy to get it in computerized form so in library a computers are used to keep the records of the book issued and written so a computer keeps all the records of a person who have issued the book and who have returned the book back okay second some libraries allow internet access from their computers for online research and other related function it means that if a person have visited the library and if he did not get the stuff he required it means that if he want to research anything and the books is not available regarding that research then an internet access or the internet facility is also provided in some libraries so a person can search his research it means he can search his documents his or documents online and he can also perform other related functions next is in science and technology there are numerous applications of computers in the field of science and technology in space research programs small errors or miscalculations can create serious problems computers provide the fast accurate and flexible ways of handling the data it means that if a person is doing any of the calculations it is possible that he create some small errors or miscalculations which can result into a very serious problems but a computer is very fast it provides the accurate it means correct result and it is very flexible it means that it can be used anyhow so it is most important to use a computers in performing space research programs 
second a computers help in research and invention it means that if a scientist want to research anything regarding any of his project then he can get the information through the internet it means if we want to invent anything new and to research about it it is also available using a computer third they help in launching missiles and satellites conducting experiments making different scientific equipment weather forecasting and many more such scientific activities so computer is used in also for launching the several missiles whenever the war is there it means a fight between two countries the missiles we are sending it means it is one type of rocket bomb so it is used to send to the other country so that missiles and the satellites are used to create for that the research is taking place so that research we can do in the computer so it is also used in weather forecasting scientific equipment and many more such scientific activities okay so now we will move further how a computer is used in designing a computer helps in the field of designing in various ways first is architect use computers to design houses and buildings engineer uses them to design cars scientific apparatus and equipment fashion designer use computers to design his her garments okay in short a architect it means who is building an apartment who is building the houses who is building the bungalows he or she uses a computer to design it means to get the latest design of the houses and the buildings second an engineer also uses the computer to design the various type of cars equipment and the scientific apparatus apparatus it means that a design it means a complete design that how a preview that how your work will look after its invention okay so to design cars a scientific apparatus and the equipments are used for that also a computer is used and a fashion designers it means that who designs the clothes also uses a computers to design his or garments okay so in designing purpose also a computer is very useful now the last field is in shops and hotels a computers are used in both the shops and hotels to do the following task first is to keep the record of the items that means which items are presented in the particular shop or the hotels second is to generate the bills nowadays an electronic bills are generated whenever you go to any mart or any mall you will find that you will get a printed bill so to generate that bills the computers are used third is to keep salary details of the employees as in the offices also the salary records are used it means the salary records are maintained in the computer here also in particular hotels or shop the salary details of the employees are stored in the computer fourth to manage the data of the employees and the customers it means that his her personal details or personal information is also stored in the computers of whom of the employees working in the particular shop or the hotel okay so here we are finishing our chapter now we will move further to the keywords so the first keyword is hardware a hardware is the physical device of a computer that we can see and touch it means that it is a physical device which we can touch we can feel like a uh, cpu monitor keyboard mouse this all are called the hardware devices now software a software is a set of instructions or the programs that tell a computer to perform the specific task it means that we are not able to touch any of the software devices it is just a set of programs which allows the computers to perform the particular task or the specific task okay students so the keywords you have to write in the notebook here i am sharing the pdf of the exercise a exercise b and exercise c okay so this all exercises you have to write in the textbook and in the notebook also the keywords you have to write in the notebook computer notebook okay so prepare a fair book of the computer in that write the keywords exercise a that is tick the correct option exercise b write true or false and exercise c filling the blanks so i will share the pdf of the answers with you so you have to write this all things in the textbook as well as in the notebook only keywords you have to write in the fair book rest all the exercises a b c you have to write both in the textbook as well as in the fair book okay is it clear to you then later on exercise d that is answer the following questions and write the uses of the following we will share in our next period for now you have to just write the exercise a b c and the keywords in the notebook and exercise a b c in the textbook also
ओके स्टूडेंट्स बाय बाय हैव अ ग्रेट डे अहेड